Still you can't be fed up Go girls with the left and the right Go green like the What is up guys, Son of Beast here We are back with another NBA Playoffs And Game 4 is on Milwaukee Bucks against the Boston Celtics In the Eastern Conference matchup by that time, it won't be happening again after they put a win by Boston Celtics, leading by two to one. After 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 the after the Jordan player of the game was on Jason Tatum, I mean Jalen Brown. It was definitely tough, close call effort here. Looking really comfortable here. A lot of players are doing really good, and this one it looks really good at that time. Everybody's working really hard here. So by that, let's see what Game 4 is on. And Episode 34 is uh, Lauren Cox and Chris C.T. First up, we need to congratulate all of this year's um, WNBA draftees, including the third overall pick, Lauren Cox, who we call... Lauren Cox, thank you for the WNBA uh, draft that time. We like to say appreciation, but uh, well, I, might be, well, I might be showing off what is happening here. Everything's doing really well. So anyway, you know what? Let's not watch anything. Let's just get right into the game and head over to TD Garden. Starting off with the with the with the Bucks and shooting guard number nine, Wesley Matthews. At center, number eleven, Brook Lopez. And shooting. At point guard, number six, Eric Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe. At shooting guard, number tw at small four, number twenty-two, Chris Milton. And point four position, number thirty-four, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And your head coach, head coach for the for the Milwaukee Bucks, Mike Boldenholzer. Celtics fans, it's time to get loud! At center, in 6 point feet, number 27, Daniel Weiss. At small four, 6 foot 7 inches, number 20, Gord Hayward! A shooting guard at six point seven inches. Number seven, Jalen Brown. Sorry from the point guard position. Six point zero. Number eight, Kemba Walker. And point four position is six point eight. Number zero, Jason Tatum. And for your head coach for Boston Celtics, Co Coach Brad Stevens. Let's hear it for your Boston Celtics. Right now we're heading for Game Four. Celtics with the lead by two to one. But Milwaukee Bucks saying the game's not done yet. Joining us tonight here, the commentators Kevin Harlan. Again, you're in the seat in a this is Kevin Harlan, Greg Anthony, Brent Barry's here. How'd you go? And with the new and, and, and with the new commentator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and told them you were going to join. <laughs> For the greats, Thanks. I'm so delighted to be here. Hey, Dave. Dave. Well, last season the Celtics tried to balance minutes between a talented core of younger players, along with their trio of superstar veterans. With the departure of Kyrie Irving and Al Horford, now youth must be served. The question is, how far can that carry them? And I feel David. Mm, I think that time that Kyrie Irving's been playing two seasons with the Celtics, and and with the and last season he played with the Cavs. But for Al Horford, he played with the Atlanta Hawks, and then he's with the and then he with, he's with the Celtics. But now he's with the Sixers. Giannis Antetokounmpo and Tatum are back again to make the key matchup 
look well. But this time, uh, here's Bolton Houser's uh, career record, 326, over by, under by a 231 career loss, but a win was definitely a great, uh, great, great position for, for each career of the path. Jump all up. Milwaukee wins the tip off and we are underway here at Boston. Green team up off bleed green. Here's Matthews. He passed up by uh, Milton. For Kawhi, was until like what 2017. Milton shot no good. Out of reach by Antetokounmpo. Tatum has his first rebound. That's the last piece for Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Here's Spice. Cota by Lopez. That's the Kubo with the rebound, man. That's a first assist, first rebound. Ancha Kumpo with the shot. That's the first two pointer for Ancha Kumpo, and that's two points. And I'm telling you again, it's Ancha Kumpo, not Ancha Kumpo. Walker missed a three as Matthews takes the rebound. Bledsoe finds Middleton. Ancha Kumpo. Over Tatum, and that's a number two pointer for Gonzalo Kupo, and has four points. Gonzalo Kupo, I gotta say it correct. Brent Barry is on the commentator commentators. By and not here with uh, with Chris Webber and and Derek and Dory. Bledsoe passes to Lopez. Lopez to Middleton, right over to Bledsoe, back to Middleton. And that was a shot by Jalen Brown. Shot. Matthews up. Matthew hits a two-pointer. He has first two for uh, Matthews as the assist was cummed up nothing yet. I don't know if it's Bledsoe or if it's somebody else. He passed up by Tatum. Tatum finds Brown. So after the game was over in the Western Conference, Mavericks lead the win, puts a win with an unstoppable run, 4-0. But right now, we only have some couple games that are still going here, but we're not sure which one will move on. Let's so. Here's by Matthews. Pass up by Middleton. Middleton to Matthews. Open again. Good rebound. Bounce pass. Middleton. Shot good over Gordon Hayward. First point assist by Bledsoe. Can get the shot off that quickly. Middleton. Those two guys are working really good. Middleton and Ante Tacumpo. Just four thirty left. Eight to four is your score. Celtics trailing by four. Ante Kumpo five. Try to cover on Tatum. Hayward against Middleton. Reverse layup. A foul goes on Middleton. As his first personal foul. Stop the clock by four nineteen. And Fox has their, their first team foul. Team could have a oh, almost put a rejection that time. So they signed him for four years. Middleton goes dollars. like goes like this. What happened here? Are you like are you dead, Mark? Are you blind? Well, don't even talk to the referee. That that will be that will be their technical foul that time. Why am I blind? That was a different GM. Well, well, this is definitely tough, tough to look for. Well, we're, we're not quite understanding what, what this one is. Gordon Hayward makes the first free throw. And how about the winning mindset? As for uh, as for the last couple seasons, he's played with the Utah Jazz since uh, 2016 through 17. But for that time, in 2018-19 through 20, he's got he's played with the now he's traded off and played with the Boston Celtics. So the, but the official say about the Utah Jazz, they like to decide to welcome back uh, Gordon Hayward. Back during the 2017 season, but for that time, it was definitely not quite, uh, not quite tough enough to get back in to look for look for a player that they're putting back in. Bledsoe makes after the Bledsoe shot by uh, making the triple. Here is Walker. Under four minutes to play here, Walker missed again. Gordon, Gordon Hayward was uh, was playing a great season that time as he's, as he's been coming out so hard that time. So sports obsessed. A lot of it is Oh, great shot by Middleton and there's assist by Austin Kumpo. Walker against Bledsoe. So the sports makes everybody Knock the hand. 
Seekers are crazy anyway. But and that still goes with Celtics ball. Here are some new changes. Matthews and Bledsoe. Gar Saldat, Hill, and DiVincenzo are checked in. And let me tell you about this. I watched this video about about a Hoops Zero, Hoops U, Hoop Nation Zero U, and I watched it on Showtime here uh, back, in the, back in my bedroom where I was taking a look of the story about Jerry and Grant and Pat Connington. Oh, Tatum and Oxy Kumar are going to start with the jump ball. Uh oh. Let's see. Austin Kupo, oh, he couldn't handle that time, but Jason Tatum wins the tip off, wins the jump ball. Down to five on the shot clock. But if you check out his story, you can do that so by uh, by looking on Optimum. If you if you don't have an Optimum, you could do it on FiOS, DirecTV, Dish, Spectrum, or Flame TV. Well, great work here for Lopez, and he has a number two. Two points for but for Lopez. Seventy percent for the box. Pretty free for. Uh, the Celtics, but the shot goes in for uh, Walker that time. Right. Here's Steven Chenzo. Uh, I'm not talking about the story about Steven Chenzo, but here's Middleton. So Pat Connaughton played with the uh, played uh, back in college, played with uh, Notre Dame and back in 2015. But he also skied with Jerry and Grant. Uh, I thought he was going to be able to play it. Uh oh. We have gone out of trouble. The nice thing is, though, this team is that might be Jalen Brown or uh, Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart had a lot of points up there. The team together that they succeeded with last year. I don't know what Jerry Grant up to, but uh, he's having he's having some hard issues. Success together. Playing in the NBA G League. Smart for three, no good, and that's the Kupo stopping the rebound. So what's that last piece that you George Hill, oh! Stopped by Tatum. Almost called a foul on on, uh, on Boston. Steven Chenzo passed to Middleton. Hill, bounce pass by Ansta Kupo. Who's back up? Good. Shot good by Ansta Kupo. And another two pointer is on the board. Assist by Hill. Nice spin move, nice shot. Looking very good. 127 left in the first quarter. But I don't know any players that played uh, get played with the uh, University of Maryland. And the call will be the reach of foul falls on George Hill, his first personal foul. And now here comes that here comes some changes. Connaughton's in, Elias Sofa with and Robin Lopez. And Walker's checked out. Wanamaker is checked in. So there he is. There's Pat Connaughton's story of what he was looking for. He's covered by Brown. Connaughton was the first player that drafted an NBA in, back in 2015. Brown with a great start and a move off into a killer. 17 to 12 is your score. They're leading. They're trailing by five. We're down to one minute to go here in the first half, first quarter. Connaughton finds Steven Chenzo. Pass to Connaughton with a shot. Rebounded by uh, Tatum. Solid defense here by each team. Connaughton looking out of nowhere and Jalen Brown with a rollout. Second of two attempts. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the David Chento pass to Elisofa. In the middle. George Hill covered by Smart. With a shot. Connaughton reaches out the first pointer. Oh no, it's Ailey Sofa. Oh wait, Connaughton is the blonde one. Yep. Yeah, I'm right. Ailey Sofa is the one in black hair. Connaughton reaches out the first two pointer. A great assist that time for uh, for Hill. Robin Lopez, wow, great solid D for Robin Lopez. Right now it's Connaughton. Another two puts up a point. Connaughton has four points. First half, first quarter has come to an end. 21 to 14 as two pointer by uh, by Connaughton, but the rejection by that time was was uh, Marcus Smart.
just trying to focus on the court. Uh, what is my next step? It's the best book there because I know this is just the beginning. I haven't even reached my potential yet. I think I have a long way to go and uh, maybe one day I can be top 10 in all those things. I, I feel like I can, I can do that. On oh, his potential, onto the Kumpo, he's having some uh, having some great issues that time. But it, but this case, he's back. He was first drafted in since 2013, 2013, and he has been playing for just seven seasons. Smart, nice move here by Connaughton. Connaughton, uh, Connaughton, uh, Connaughton passed by Hill, went around Robin Lopez, over Smart, solid D on, on Williams, it's not Smart, it's Williams, Jalen Brown with a stop, and shot's good for, for Jalen Brown, and Hill has a second personal foul. Middleton was a first-time All-Star in 2019. We all know that. Yeah, we know that one already. But now there's some new changes here. Jalen Brown with the stop, and the foul was on George Hill. Connaughton was saying, "You can't let the other players get back on here. You gotta like, you gotta make it contested. You can't just hit anybody right now. Even one of my college players has a lot of has a lot of ability that has some hard time. But in that case, uh. George Hill has the second personal foul. Brown shooting one shot. They're going up by a point. Brown makes the number makes the first shot. And they're trailing by eight. No. Bledsoe finds Connaughton. Triple! Connaughton with a shot. Great pass by Bledsoe, and with that shot, you cannot go wrong with, with any player you, you have, by Jerry and Grant and Pat Connaughton. Since after his senior year in, uh, in college, he's, uh, they have some appreciation, they were saying congratulations to uh, Connaughton. They are working really hard that time for, for Connaughton back in uh, five seasons. Connaughton still here. Bledsoe finds Connaughton. Connaughton passes to Bledsoe. Well, his first draft was he was played with the uh, Portland Trail Blazers, and then his second season he's been playing. He's played with the uh, Milwaukee Bucks that time with Giannis Antetokounmpo. Connaughton says, maybe this will work. I. I have some job here at uh, uh, Wisconsin to uh, to check out what is happening. I I am working really hard through the through the stretch, and by that time, Connaughton is uh, has switched to uh, Portland Trail Blazers to the box. Nice three by Connaughton. That's another one. Ten points. If you guys check it out right now, Hoops Nation, you could do so by uh, by searching the movies on Showtime. Don't have Showtime? You can you can upgrade it here, but ask your parents for permission. Wanamaker with a great move here, an assist by comes up by Hayward. Hay Hayward only had a, only had some good couple assists that time. Connaughton rolling rolling around. Bledsoe, screen by Ellie Sofa. Bounce pass, but with uncompleted touch. Oh, draws it in! Jalen Brown! Now here's, look at that fast break. Do you see that dunk? That was like how you get there that time. But not for long, here's Lopez. The foul is on Williams. Lopez will go to the shooting free throw line for his first time. This is his first trip to the lines. But for Robin Lopez, he's played with the Chicago Bulls back in some couple seasons. Was it? But he might be saying, "I I want to play with his brother." If he, um, he's still with the uh, Portland. Uh, no, not Portland. He's still with the Milwaukee Bucks. But but Robin Lopez says, "I want to check out what my uh, what my brother's up to." But for Robin Lopez, he's going really hard. Robin Lopez with one shot for Miss Connaughton, Corver, and Sofa. Matthews and Middleton Williams is checked back in. 
And you switched from Wanamaker, Brown, and Williams. And it's Campbell Walker. And Walker, Wanamaker, has switched off from shooting guard position. Williams, he's checked in for Ilya Sofa. Chris Milton comes in for Kyle Corvin. And it's, uh... You subbed in for Pat Connaughton. And Pat Connaughton. Pat Connaughton has 10. That's off as well. So he misses two. So he misses two for Robin Lopez. Here's Hayward. Oh! Two dunks that time, and their tie comes on. 3.55 to go. Here's Bledsoe. Bledsoe passes to Robin Lopez. No, he made it that time. Fires has his first personal foul. Their second team foul for uh, Boston. Fires went out of control. Robin Lopez saying, how did I make that shot? That was really good. I think I made that shot very good. good. Well, he and missed two free throws of the uh, season. But for Robin Lopez, he's coming down to take one shot and add it up for, for his, uh, and for his career points. It's a 12-month year sport. He makes three. He makes a shot. Robin Lopez has three points in the game. Walker against Bledsoe. Walker played, uh, played with the uh, Charlotte Hornets last season. I think people love the play. And, uh, and then he switched off and gives it a exactly try to go for from here. Kemba Walker says, uh, Kemba Walker has a, has a number two pointer. And he says, Ky says Kyrie Irving's missing out, but I'm thinking I'm going to have to, well, uh, I'm going to have to give it another try. And one for the NBA, NBA scout manager says, one of each team has switched off into the upper position of the team. If you would help out with uh, Boston Celtics, that would be a great idea. And Kevin Walker said, sure, I, I think I can go with that. So that was last season for uh, from Kevin Walker back playing with the Charlotte, Horn Charlotte Hornets. Wow, Walker with a strong move and they put up a lead. Ten points. Hot start tonight. Twenty-seven. These guys play two K. The actual players. Oh no, not twenty-seven. Uh, they care about it. They have an incredible amount of ten points. Matthews off off the balance. I want to make her as his first personal foul. That's Boston Spur team foul. Matthews are going going to the line to shoot for two. They are officially having some hard times here. Matthews going to take two shots. <clears throat> First, free throw. First free throw is good. And now a deep Vincenzo Antetokounmpo comes in by Robin Lopez and Bledsoe. Against people you don't know. And for Boston Celtics, Cantor and Tatum checked in by Hayward and Williams. The first time we want to make her out. Smart comes in. Pivotal moment in both our lives. Sometime in the mid 2000s. He's like, this is amazing. You're in Matthews handles and makes the two free throw. This is great. We has four points. Walker. Only uh, eight points, points by then. Around three point Cantor. You know Cantor finds Walker. DiVincenzo on the cover. Passes to Tatum. Six to shoot. Triple, no good for uh, for Walker. Williams. Pass by Kupo. Wow, what a nice move here for Andre de Kupo. Andre de Kupo has another pointer and has eight points. Looking for uh, Connaughton's record saying, Connaughton, do you think you could, you could be the Jordan player of the game? He might, but I don't think he may, might be on a hot streak yet. Williams. Checks by Milton. He passed by Matthews. Moving around by DiVincenzo. Another two-pointer for DiVincenzo. And they are out, out of a reach. As they are leading by five. 135 to go. Walker finds Cantor. Knocked away. Tatum on the wing and the, as the recover comes up. Tatum finds, finds Cantor. Shot no good for Cantor. And that's another, that's a first miss. Didn't have that chance. On oh, number 11, like Kyrie Irving. Oh, Antetokounmpo with the roll. And that shot was really, really, really strong. 
Yeah. Hope he comes back. Okay. Well, it's much more scarce by uh by uh, the Celtics, but this wasn't happening again. Fives finds Walker under one minute to go in the first half. Tatum for three. No good. Anshikupo with a with a number rebound. Eight rebounds for Anshikupo. Mario Kumpo finds Steve Vincenzo. Finds Matthews. Smart off. And smart move by by Matthews. And that's, that's a great point average here. Good uh, good step in cut through. Matthews has six. We are coming down to 30 seconds. And now he's 30 seconds. Walker makes it two. Walker has 12 points. 23 seconds to go here in the first half. Antikupo finds Matthews. Bounce passing right over to Williams. Six to go. Shot good! Vice! Second personal foul, their fourth team foul for the Celtics. Isaac Kupo say, not that time, you wouldn't have that shot like I did, but there might be more coming your way. Isaac Kupo with one shot to go, back to point forward. Brooke Lopez is checked back in by Williams. Cantor and Vice subbed out. Williams and Cantor switches to, uh, to uh, the center position. Stop the clock for 7.8 seconds. Hot streak for Anthony Kupo. Only 12 points, but can he make 13? Can he make 13 points? Yes, he makes 13 points. Each year we get to see Giannis come back from the summer. Clock running out of time. Five seconds. Three seconds. With the buzz beater. No good, and that's the end of the first half. 43 to 33 between Anjikupo and Konate. Bucks going into the lead, and they're going for a tie to stop by. Now it's time to take, to take a courtside look by, from David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, you guys were able to get the lead. What was the key to getting all those open shots? Uh, we're just getting stops, uh, getting rebound, getting out of the pushing, uh, finding lanes, finding open guys. And you made the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. All right, thank you, David. We'll be right back in the second half after this. So we'll see you back at TD Garden. Back at the TD Garden, as Giannis Antetokounmpo and Pat Connaughton has definitely had the both well, career seasons that time as Giannis Antetokounmpo, Antetokounmpo with 13 points and Connaughton with only 10 points that time. It was not that difficult between the uh, between the offense and defense, but in that case, this is what they would notice about somehow it gets really good and gets and gets a good pace. So we are back right now at TD Garden. Let's start off the third quarter. Here's Brown against Matthews. Browns wasn't able to uh, shoot the threes that time. It was definitely a bit confusing that time, but it didn't go really well as, as much. Middleton outside. Passes up by Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez will take the two. On the floor contributing and doing big things like uh, not not between not comparison between Robin Lopez and Brooke Lopez say Robin, it's good to be here with you. Robin said Brooke says Robin, it's good to be here with you, bud. Man, welcome to uh, welcome to my team. Robin Lopez joins it. That was from Chicago Bulls earlier. This time, uh, he's with the uh, he's with the Milwaukee Bucks. After the shot by Gordon Hayward's good, out the bench had outscored the Celtics by nine for the Bucks. Only six so six minutes remaining. Matthews finds Bledsoe, goes over Antetokounmpo, over Tatum. And that's another bucket for Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo on the free run. A great run that time around Tatum and avoid the double man team. Antetokounmpo has 15 points. Here's Walker with the ball, covered by Bledsoe. Around Gordon Hayward. On the wing is Brown. 
Triple no good for for, for Brown. Bledsoe able to carry the bucket out and it goes through. Antetokounmpo has another assist that time. And Bledsoe has five points. 0-2 from, uh, from the Bucks in the second half. Brown finds Hayward. Back pass by Brown. Right around Feist for Matthews. Brown takes another shot. Counts it in. Just 5.05 to go. Letso able to carry the ball. He passes up to Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez finds Matthews. Matthews to Bletso. Box passing it around to Middleton. Near the three. And that's good for Bletso. Assist by Middleton. That's seven points for Eric Bletso. And this one's on a kill. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. And yes, it was right behind the three point line, so that that's a two pointer. Whistle blows. Whistle blows, and the basket is good for Walker. Brooke Lopez has his first personal foul. Said I couldn't done. I couldn't get that one right. Olin Olsen says you gotta get. You got. You can't let the man get cut and right behind you. You gotta let. You gotta stay focused on your man. Well, if it's going out of out of guard position, then someone has to guard it. Brooke Lopez needs to guard someone, and. And the other players need to guard need to guard uh, guard any players on the Celtics. Walker is shooting uh, shooting two, shooting one after he makes a two two points. One shot to go for Walker. Brooke Lopez is his first personal foul. Walker sets up with with four with fifteen points. Bledsoe, back out again, finds Connaughton. First player dropped in two, since 2015. After he played, after he finished his college season. Here's Connaughton. Good pass by Isopa, but Connaughton for missed his first shot. Connaughton only has 10 points. With only one rebound, it was it's not quite enough to get there at a time. Bledsoe with a shot denied. Bledsoe up there with the block. Wow. And Kemba Walker. Kemba Walker has it reached a foul. That calls the first personal foul. Walker subbed out and uh, Wanamaker wants to wants to put it back in the point guard position. Didn't want that to happen. There's Bledsoe. Bledsoe only has seven. Bledsoe will have the carry, and there's number two. Has nine points. Bledsoe with only the shot. Never got a chance to start off in the second half. But he did anyway. Here's Wanamaker. Guys, there's still time for them to make a run. There's still more time to uh, get more run here. But the Bucks want to put up the tie that time because they are really hard working in first place position. Nice rebound by Brooke Lopez. And here's uh, Connaughton. Around Gordon Hayward. Ooh, what a, what a crazy move that time. Connaughton has 12 points. Eh? And Gonsugova saying, no, this guy's amazing. Wrap around, look at turn over into the into 260. In the third quarter, with just over three and a half minutes. Off. Three and a half minute, three and a half minutes in the uh, third quarter. Williams outside, covered by Bledsoe. I don't know why you call it, but it's Wanamaker, but but that's uh, but that's kind of like that's that's kind of a that's kind of a weirdest name uh, that we haven't seen anything going on lately. Here's Connaughton. Connaughton. Boom! The three point for Connaughton on the roll. And he has 15 points with Fox de Kumpo. Celtics are calling timeout with 302 remaining. Nice job for Connaughton. This one, these guys on a roll. Anyway, I'm going to make some switch after this. Matthews is checked out. And Corfer is checked in. Connaughton and Matthews are going to roll 101 so far. Connaughton is subbed out. Corfer and Hill and Williams comes back in. Anshakupa says, no way! He's doing really well. Great shot by Cantor, and he has his first bucket in the second half. Bledsoe only has nine points. 
Corford didn't have any points to show it out, but he's looking for assists. Good shot by Williams, and there's the assist by Corford. Williams has his first two to the bucket. Great shot over Cantor. And that's where you got to call it Williams, the first two-pointer in the second half. So only Cantor and Williams made the shot in the second half. Jalen Brown and Illy Sofa is fouled on a shooting. First personal foul, second team foul for the Bucks on Milwaukee. Brown with that dunk. Not that time, Illy Sofa. Brown with one shot. Connerton uh, trying to try to watch uh, trying to watch Lee Sofa, but he still remains silent from the bench. That free throw good from Brown. Jalen Brown has got one point in and pulled up again. Two fifteen to go. Here's Bledsoe. Bledsoe passed to Corfer. Avoid the man. That's still Milwaukee's ball. And, and with the next game, uh, they'll be back in Milwaukee for Boston Celtics back in Milwaukee in Game 5. And then Game 6, Milwaukee Bucks are back at Boston playing against the Celtics. Another rematch in Game 6. And if the game is necessary in 7, then the game will be over. Then it will be Game 7. Back at Milwaukee. Smart pass to Brown. And the Brown with a strong move that time are out of Crawford's way. Brown has 16. Achtekupo with 15. But with a tie releases up by Connaughton and Achtekupo with 15 points. Here they so far. The shot by Lee Sofa is no good as Wanamaker puts up another rebound. Oh, solid, solid offense for Jalen Brown. And they are pulling up the pace. Let's catch up on David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, over the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about seeding playoff teams 1 through 16, regardless of conference. Now, taking the top 16 teams is a tough sell especially for owners whose teams are in their relatively weaker Eastern Conference. And taking eight teams from each conference and then cross-seeding earlier than the finals is something that does seem possible down the road. The reward for fans might be a finals matchup with the two best teams in the league. Kevin? Interesting idea, Interesting idea here for you, for da David. Thank you, David. Right after the shot good for Eli Sofa, the loose ball foul was called on Williams, his first personal foul. And after that shot for Jason Tatum, here's Hill. Hill only has one, one rebound, but didn't have any points to put up behind. Lopez finds Corfer. Over Tatum. The offensive rebound that time. Good, nice pass. Missed it the number of time, and he forgot to take the shot fake. Smart against Hill. Finds Tatum. Smart. Back to Hill. Back to Tatum. Blocked it. Oh, recovered it by, by Brown, and he's got it again. Putting guys in a position. Anjikupo needs to switch things off. He only has 15 points, but he doesn't have any ability to put it back. Corfer missed the three. And we're going to leave it here. No half court shot made at that time. We haven't seen any half court that time. Bucks lead by nine. And for Connington with a three pointer. Some block, F, some block shots are made, and and they are having some hard time ability. We'll be back here after this. Let's take a look at the at the State Farm assist of the game presented by State Farm. Showing you what Bledsoe had here. Robin Lopez only had the only had the comeback save for the points, and for Bledsoe, he rarely has that has that strong ability. What his shot is making, he's making it, he's making all pointers in the row. 
working hard, training at hard. Is always now we're starting the fourth Bucks quarter. By nine. As the Bucks lead Bucks. by nine, Middleton Hill finds Middleton. Middleton. And there's Hill. Hill never got a chance to do to make that and shot that time, Jenzo but he might be doing it. Hill. The shot's off again. Anshikunpo couldn't find another rebound. Hill against Walker. Nice D for Middleton and put a stop on Walker. Here comes Hill. And there it is. We finally have the point for George Hill. And Middleton with a great pass. So George Hill finally has two. He has two points. Boston shooting an outstanding 53%. Boston's are Boston are shooting an outstanding play here. In first Boston. and second half. Corver! Oh no, Lopez with a rejection. Brooke Lopez has got another block at it here. Celtics still have the ball. And now they're making some switches here. Tatum and Williams. Tatum back into point four. Gordon Hayward checked in by Williams. Roy Williams. There's a difference between Williams and Williamson. I don't know if it's correct. No good. No good that time for Hayward. Middleton had the ball. DiVincenzo only has two. But he's looking for another one. Whoa, tipped away, but recovered by Ante de Kumpo. Great rebound. Anshikupo on the move. And the Bucks lead by 13. Back content a little bit a little bit too much uh, too much uh, confidence here, but it's looking really tough here. A lot of us, a lot of stress on the a lot of stress players on the court having some hard times getting back on the uh, getting back on offense. But the but the defensive players are grabbing the ball away from their hand. Rejecting the pass and shot block. Middleton the pass to DiVincenzo. I need to switch things up a bit. Come on. What's going on? Those guys are like having some hard time. And loose ball foul goes on Feist. His third personal foul. Anshikupo has fallen off away. Hill is checked out. Wesley Matthews is checked in. DiVincenzo switched into point guard position. 5.05 to go. Here's Anshikupo. DiVincenzo right in the ever lane. So that was a loose ball foul that they did put up here. But there's a shot for Chris Middleton. Great pass by DiVincenzo. But if you're not consuming to get the loose ball foul, you would have been you would have been automatically got fouled at it by your team. Now here's Walker. By that time, don't make any mistakes on the loose ball fouls. So Celtics are calling timeout here with 4:47. Time call here. The Celtics. But Tatum and other and other players are still looking for some offense, uh, rebound, and other places on each court. Just one change here as Middleton is subbed out. Connington is back in. David Aldridge on the sideline. Well, I was able to listen in on what Brad Stevens had to say to his team. His emphasis was for more effort on the defensive end. He said, we have to do a better job of communicating and helping each other out. They're getting too many easy looks. Let's make it hard on them. Kevin, they're going to have to if they're going to slow down the hot shooting of their opponent. Pass to Antetokounmpo from the arc. Here's Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo missed the game with the triple. There's a difference between uh, Connaughton and Antetokounmpo. After the block by DiVincenzo, the shot didn't go in that time. Connaughton looking for some pass. Oh! Oh! The Jacopo! The Greek freak. Great pass by Connaughton. What a shot has made for Ronch Jacopo. And we are down to four minutes. Coming down to three minutes is Walker. DiVincenzo on the guard. Right now, they need there might be some illegal screen going on by Feist. They are going with another miss by the Celtics. Anchekumpo, pass to Connaughton. 
Here's Connington. Pass to Brooke Lopez. Over Feiss. Feiss with a rebound after a solid D on, on uh, Brooke Lopez. Tatum with a shot goes in. Might be some point four of a decision to have some hard times again. Giannis on the left. Finds Connington. Connaughton over Hayward is good. And Connaughton has 17 points. But God, Giannis has 19. Nobody has that chance to make that point in look confident. Rebounded by Lopez. Under three minutes to go. Four points for Tatum. Just one steal by the pass. But, uh, but not able to put up another steal. Matthews passes on Jacumpo. Find the shoot. Here's Connaughton. Connaughton with the wraparound and around the other player, and Connaughton has 19. Jacumpo's got his third assist on the night. That's the third assist of the night. Celtics trailing by 19. Celtics trailing by 19. Boston calling timeout. And it wasn't too long ago. By 227 under 23 to go. Well, we don't Connaughton looking really good here that time. He's, he's doing really well. And, and passing to Anchakupo, he did finally got one. Anyway, so Wesley Matthews only didn't have enough uh, didn't, have, didn't have enough chance to uh, put it back up again. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and uh, switch it back. Let's go ahead and switch it to uh, Bledsoe. Oh no, Bledsoe. And then DiVincenzo on, on a shooting guard for petition. And now we are showing you their Jordan player it again. And it goes to Giannis Antetokounmpo. With only the Greek freak that never does that one again. He's doing all types of uh, types of spin moves, some jump shots, great shot opportunities, and uh, impressive rebound that pulled up by a defender here. And, and yes, that Connaughton did find a pass to Antetokounmpo. He did. That worked really good that time, and he did it. An impressive job here. Yep, there's the pass one more time, and then, and that's Connaughton's another assist. Walker back out again. 223 to play in the fourth quarter. He were looking around. He passed the Walker. Brown. Brown with the triple, and they're pulling up behind. Bledsoe. Yeah, that pass was right Bledsoe passes Bledsoe. to Middleton. He finds Lopez. Lopez right from Brooke side. Lopez to Anchacupo. Outside, outside is Bledsoe. Just find the shoot. Brown taking three. Bledsoe triple good. Another assist by Connaughton. Great bounce pass. That was incredible. Bledsoe making it another three here that time. Bledsoe has 12 points. Walker passes to Brown. Brown tries to do another triple, but the shot was off. DiVincenzo in the other way. Passes up to Bledsoe. Lopez up top. Oh wait, it was DiVincenzo. Pass. No, it was, it was the assist by DiVincenzo. Bledsoe out of time. No good that time. Shot clock almost came up to expire, but it lost again by D by Bledsoe. Jason Tatum with a step back. That's good. Just 110 to go, and we're almost coming down to a last minute on the play. And that was the edge they needed. Bledsoe passed the Middleton. One minute to play here in the fourth quarter. Brooke Lopez passed the DiVincenzo. Look at the stats, just confirms what a dominant game he had. Brooke Lopez with a nice shot and assist. Assist comes up by DiVincenzo. To the floor here, he hit the glass hard. And he came up with a ton of rebounds. Now here's Brown. And so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Brown will bring it up on the other hand. Walker shooting three. They don't have time to pull it up again. Walker has a triple. An assertive long distance shooter. 
Brooke Lopez. Cover by Feist. Lopez, Lopez kicks it off to Bledsoe. Pass set by DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo. And Bledsoe. Here's the shot. Oh, he made it that time. That's the Kupo. Oh, and not the shot before shot clock expired. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but... Walker against Bledsoe. It was all We're down to 10. Control. Nice alley-oop by Kemba Walker, and Feist has it again. Terrific at finding his teammates. And here's Bledsoe. Final score is 81 to 65 as the Bucks find itself to make the win in game four as the series has tied 2-2. But game five will continue for the Bucks to get back in the game. A really, really tough times going on here, but it, this is what, what was coming up. Now let's send it over to David Aldridge on the sideline. David. Thanks, Kevin. Brooke, congrats on the win. What are your expectations for the team right now? Uh, very high. You know, everyone's um, been coming together, you know. We've uh, been excited to close the season out the right way. And now, uh, you know, we're, we're gearing up for a great one, great run in the playoffs. Looks like you're rounding into form. Thanks again, Brooke. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Thank you guys for tuning in for the Eastern Conference matchup of, of the playoffs. For that being said, we'll see you next time for our next game of Game 4 as Thunder take on against the Jazz back at Utah. Then the Sixers against the Pacers back at Indiana. Then we will have is the Toronto Raptors and the Nets back at Brooklyn. And then finally, we have is the, you know what I'm saying? I think I think it might be L.A. Showdown. Then, then L.A. Showdown, Lakers and Clippers. Still Lakers court in Game Four, and Florida Florida Showdown Heat. I'm sorry, Magic at Miami. By that time, it will be coming out differently entire season. But in that case. We're waiting for the Mavericks to be playing against the, the other winning team in the first round. So Mavericks still in uh, the second round. We're still waiting to make sure what was happening so far. And by that being said, thank you for tuning in. As until next time, peace out, bitches. Till now for as an NBA playoff dial. Bye-bye, everyone, and good night in Boston.